Alright everybody, welcome back. Um, working on the thrust pipe stuff now. Uh, just doing what I can until I get the turbine. Uh, but I wanted to show you guys this. Uh, let me take this back apart. Um, the aft mount for the main pipe and the actual thrust vectoring pipe was made out of that same uh, real lightweight, uh, very soft ply that they just laminate two one eighth pieces or whatnot, uh, kind of like the um, the turbine rails were. Uh, so, and I could basically just pull it apart. So I went ahead and re-glued it, and I took some carbon fiber, laminated it. All right, just to give it, uh, make it a little bit more rigid, and to hold that hold that stuff. There's gonna be a lot of forces on this constantly moving, so I didn't want it to kind of those uh, mounts for the thrust pipe, I didn't want them, you know, over time crushing the wood, plus it's got some some uh, T-nuts, blind nuts, whatever you want to call them, on the back side. Uh, so, I'll show you guys the hardware. Two mounts like this, one has got a U-shape cut in it, which obviously is going to go up here. Uh, didn't, doesn't show any washers, uh, but I'm going to put two washers in there. Uh, so I got two washers, the bolt, and then the, the T-nuts. Um, pretty fair, fairly simple. Uh, the thrust pipe, uh, this one, it's just got these two mounting, where is it at? These two mounting ones here, that's where it's going to go. It's just simply a bolt um, with a lock nut on it. That's going to be your pivot points. And then the same for in here. It's kind of hard to see. And these, the two parts that's going to actually be connected to the servos are just longer rods with these metal aluminum uh, little fittings, nothing crazy. Uh, so, pretty neat, pretty simple setup. Um, this outer ring, it looks like two pieces of steel welded together. Did a lot of little welding all the way around. So that ring is pretty, is uh, really stiff. And then the pipe itself has reinforcements one, two, three tacked onto it uh, as well. So, oh, look at that little. It's real soft, real thin aluminum or steel. Um, it's got a little kink in it right there. But, like I said, it's just going to be pushing some exhaust around. Hopefully, it'll hold up. Worst case, I can get a new one from. Tam or something like that if it doesn't hold up, but I think it'd be fine. Um, who knows? We'll see. So, anyways, so put the uh, oh, wrong one. Okay, it. Put the mounts are gonna go facing in like that. So. Dun, 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 dun. That's all it is. So, put this over. Let me see here. There you go. Get the blind nuts put on here. T nuts, whatever you want to call them. Just tighten them on down and pull them into the pull them into the pod. This is this is real soft stuff. I don't I know they use it to save weight, but uh, for these kind of areas. But I'll just assume it be the aircraft ply that they use for the bulkheads for the um, uh, for all your uh, wing wing mount areas and stuff, wing control surface mounting areas. At a minimum, the turbine rails should be that too, but they're stronger now with that carbon fiber on them, so shouldn't be any problem with that. Get a right. 
biggest thing is just holding these blind nuts so they don't spin and flatten out the, the teeth on them. Yeah, hopefully I'll get the, get the turbine here pretty soon. So I can finish this thing up. That's the way the weather is around here. I really can't do any flying anyways. It was like, got up Friday morning. They decided to have a Italian run. And so we had to be there at like 6.15. And it was 21 degrees outside. Cold. And you go run for four miles or so. Getting too too old for that crap. Granted, I don't run anymore, so it really wasn't affecting me. But still, There you go. That's all there is to it. And then these little guys which screw in to this. This is the actual rod. Uh, we'll just run through there like that. One here, and one here. These are the the controlling servos. This will be mounted on the side because you can kind of see the shape of it. And this one just sits down in the bottom, so it'll be kind of like that in there. And you do have to glue the ends on on the carbon uh, rods. Just remember to take some sandpaper, rough this area up and then clean it up with some acetone before you glue it on that way it'll, it'll stick so that's what you're looking at when it's done So, but uh, there's the mount and uh, you can see that oh, it's hard to see this is the actual back portion that holds the back portion of the main pipe so the main pipe is actually going to go over this a little bit so there will be some overlap so it's only going to be able to move so far in there without hitting so hopefully it will actually have some authority so uh, we'll see but uh, that's about it um, got my pilots BAM Carl and Kevin <laughs> So. Uh, what I'm about to work on now, I went and bought some, uh, um, went and bought some stuff today, some paint, some balsa, and I'm going to make my own uh, instrument panels. These things are, I guess, I don't know what this is. It's some kind of hard plastic material. It's heavy. Um, not very straight, it's all bent and warped. Uh, so I'm just gonna trace it out. These are just printed little pieces of paper. Hopefully I can get them out. If not, I'll just print some more myself. And uh, I'm gonna make my own and paint it. So, we'll see. Uh, it's just easier. Hopefully they'll start making better cockpits uh, down the road. So I got to pull mine apart, uh, paint it. I'm gonna. 
they just did everything black on this one I'm gonna paint the bucket uh, gray the seats are gonna be brown the front portion is gonna be white and then the actual portions that go that stick up in the that cover your your dash or your dash are gonna be black uh, so anyway you guys take it easy uh, that's about all I can do like I said I can really only do a few things still waiting to get my uh, sequencer back from DreamWorks they've had it for like three weeks a uh, week or so went by I guess Todd didn't even know it was there and then uh, I called about the other day Todd's on vacation until this next week so uh, hopefully it'll get uh, get here soon I, I I hooked up two air gauges to the to the lines that I cut to disconnect the uh, sequencer so I still like to put everything together and, and uh, work the gear see if it's going to hold in the air or if there's any leaks inside the uh, the gear system itself and the brakes uh, so maybe I'll do that this afternoon uh, it's kind of too cold to go out and do anything and wife and kid are at a birthday party right now so I got time to do things but uh, that's it you guys take it easy Still no word on the F-14. We've been waiting for like a week and a half. They had to change the decals and uh, uh, repaint the inlet uh, uh, caution uh, thing. So hopefully any day. Usually when they say it's ready to ship, uh, it's here within a few days. So hopefully before Christmas. Anyways, you guys take it easy. And uh, oh, that reminds me. There's people that were commenting about the cockpits for the F-14. Um, uh, something that I didn't did notice, and then I'm gonna check out when mine gets here. I'm gonna take the measurements of it. I'm gonna I'm gonna get one of the um, the Global Jet Club F-14 cockpits. It's a one seventh uh, and a half, so it should be pretty close. Um, it looks very it looks pretty good. Like I said, I don't I haven't gotten my cockpit yet, so I don't know what they look like. But I, uh, some people have complained. Uh, the one on Global is a little bit cheaper, uh, and from what I can tell, looks good. I don't know if it's going to fit, if you have to chop it up. Uh, hopefully not. I'm going to try to get a hold of one uh, after I get measurements to make sure it's pretty good, uh, pretty close, uh, and get a, get a hold of one and then install it in mine. That way you guys can kind of see uh, what they look like um, type deal. So, yeah, that's it. You guys take it easy. I'll... Uh, I'm gonna get back to work, make a, make a, making some stuff and uh, doing some painting. Do you guys have a good one? Talk to you later.